Tonight I am offering myself to become possessed, with all of the evil energy of the Queen Mary being channeled into room B340 by a demonic temple priestess. Any entity will have permission to take over my mind, body, or soul. The overnight team will have full access to every inch of the ship, and for the first time in over a decade, this will include the pool, otherwise known as the portal to the underworld. Our goal is to unleash the full paranormal potential of this infamous ship, whether positive or demonic, and it seems exactly that was accomplished. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Huge announcement! It's happening, it's right now. Right it's now! available, we are going on tour. tour! This tour is going to, one, be held at haunted locations because mm -hmm. we're doing paranormal investigations yep. at every single location, as well as meet and greets, taking pictures with everyone, a Q and a, Q and a and the Poltergeist live show. Show! Guys, we have a show. And this show will be turned into a podcast eventually. Yes. But on the show, yes. we're gonna talk about our experiences. Mm -hmm. We're gonna interview experts. Yep. But we're also gonna interview you guys yep. on your paranormal experiences. So the reason it's a live show is because everyone that is coming out we're going to hear your stories and bring some of you up on stage. Even the show is being held within these locations that we've been to. <laughs> yeah. So like Missouri State Penn, we'll yep. be literally doing it within the prison blocks and like that with every single location. Yeah, um, so, so during the show, if, if a ghost touches you, let us know after the show, okay? So this is happening, overnightparanormal.com. I'm just telling you this right now, some locations we can literally only have 50 people. Uh -huh. Some like Rolling Hills Asylum, we can have 100. Yeah. So it just depends, because these are literally being held in these haunted locations, so not huge theaters. Yeah. So make sure to grab your tickets. Tickets are gonna sell out like, fast! We're meeting every single one of you, guaranteed 100%. We're saying hello, we're taking picture, all of you, it's promised. That's swear, it. Swear, we swear. Yeah. So enjoy, by the way, enjoy this video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fun fact, I, there's something cool that happens in this video you don't know about. I try, to, I try to get possessed in this video. Wait, what do you mean that I don't know about? Yeah, maybe, maybe I did. What do you mean, maybe you We did. found something in editing that like no one had any idea about and we didn't even know until like two weeks ago because we edited this one pretty late. Wait, and what do you mean? Something, something, something Wait, happened. Wait, what? No, what happened? Something, something happened. No, but what, can you something, tell me? Something happened and it makes a whole Wait. lot more sense why a bunch of other things happened after this night. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna go to church. You know what I mean? I'm gonna see you at church, all right? Uh-huh. All right. All right. You have a good day. Enjoy the video. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to the Overnight Channel. You can probably figure out where we are right now. Where? It's the Queen Mary. We've been here before. We're actually here kind of recently, but I will say that when we were here last time, we didn't spend the most amount of time conducting the most thorough paranormal investigation we possibly could. Yeah. Neither of you have been here before. Never even I've, seen what I've the inside looks like. visited like that little portion of it. We are going to be here for around 14 hours. We will again be the only ones on the ship. It is actually currently being restored right now. Wow. But this might be one of the last chances because the restoration from now on is going to take over the ship. They're actually yeah. calling it a boat tell. Oh. Uh, hotel? Yeah, you when see, could we yes. book the boat and breakfast then? <gasps> oh! Congratulations. Right. Yeah, Josh. Of, uh, relationships have been conceived. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's good. No. After that joke, take a bow. Oh! I can't wait till we make our next uh, trip up the West Coast and we make our way to Portland. Mm. <laughs> no. Well, make sure you no. don't make any jokes about the rear because I'm going to have to get stern with you. Oh! No. That's a nautical oh, no. based pun. Right that there. is. That no. is. <laughs> I'm really excited. I heard there's a lot of decks. Linda the Ghost Hunter is joining us. Yes. Zachariah is also joining us. Oh. We will be doing a seance. In addition, we are getting the doors to the pool open. What? 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 For the first time, I believe, in like 18 years. We saw something there, and yeah. we never got to see it because it was through the wind. But now we're just looking at the pool. No, 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 bro. The, the closest you can get to the pool is just looking through the window. Oh, Why is it blown everything, up? everything I've read about this place is like the pool is like one of the, the centers for all activity. Cannot go in it because it's actually structurally oh. unsound. Okay. But we can at least open the doors, get inside a little bit, and Zachariah said he can pull 
I knew all it. of that energy out of the pool into the rest of the ship. Yeah. So the he's heck? gonna be there to help make that happen. So one more thing. Should I tell you now or should I wait? Tell us. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, no, no. no. You already uh, knew actually, in your no. head that you were gonna no. wait. No, let's flip a coin. No. Tell wait. Us. You should tell us. I'll wait until you all meet them. Them? What? Who? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's wait. This one sounds fun. Them or no, this doesn't. Wait, this you're talking about fun. I don't have the best memories with you on the Queen Mary. This sounds fun. <laughs> this sounds like this sounds like fun for us to wait until we yeah. find out. Until it's too late. Let's wait until okay. it's, too, so late. it's too, late. too late. I like that. Yeah. Wait until it's too late. We're gonna wait. Wait until right. it's too you late. Said, I feel like it's not gonna be that fun. It's fine. It's I not. feel like it's gonna be very scary for probably one person. We're probably gonna end up giving you an exorcism. Awesome. That might. Awesome. Yeah. Honestly, I think so. Sick. But first, we'd have to get you possessed. Which would be so crazy. Someone could that was that was like coming tonight could do that. Oh, dude, it'd be so weird. Is that so weird? Happening? Are you guys oh, ready? No. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Maybe he'd get Mary? funnier. As of 6 p.m., the ship is ours. So, so you want to tell us about the surprise now? Or? No. Nope. No. I'll wait till it's too late. Interesting. Queen Mary is known to be one of the greatest haunted locations on Earth and guardian of the infamous room B340, considered to be the most haunted hotel room in the world, where we will not only be sleeping tonight, but performing a ritual meant to entice all of the evil within the ship to reside there with us for the evening. And for the first time in nearly two decades, we will have access to the pool to open the doors that have been locked for so many years, giving us direct access to what so many believe is a portal directly tied to the underworld. Another opportunity to set more spirits free to roam the entirety of the ship. There are at least 10 other locations on this ship that have known strong hauntings, but we will dive into those details before we begin to investigate each of them throughout our 16-hour investigation. The tragic stories of B-474, the engine room, boiler room, isolation ward, saloon, the kitchen, the bow, the pool, and many more will all be covered by our team's investigation tonight. Prior to any investigation, we always look to understand the history of each location to have a better idea of what to keep our eyes and mind open towards. Launched in 1934, the RMS Queen Mary became the crown jewel of nautical luxury, boasting the finest classical decor and an ornate interior, robust with immaculate detail. 87 years later, it is still considered to be one of the most elegant passenger ships ever built. Upon its completion, the Queen Mary was the largest cruise ship at 1,019 feet long and twice the volume of the Titanic, all while becoming the fastest and most powerful ocean liner in the world. As World War II erupted, it was enlisted to serve the dire task of transporting Allied troops. A total of 810,000 soldiers were saved due to the heroic efforts and engineering that lived in every inch from the bow to the stern of the ship. This is how it earned the notorious nickname, the Grey Ghost. A ship so notorious and vital to the Allies that Adolf Hitler put a $250,000 bounty on it. In fact, Winston Churchill himself planned D-Day aboard this very ship. The immense amounts of grim fate this world was faced with changed all within these halls. Even with all of its immaculate attributes and accolades, the mysterious darkness of the ship seemed to be ever-present, with its first captain suddenly dying of a stroke on board. Although the ship sailed day and night, darkness was always on board. Poisonings, crew members being crushed in doorways, chefs being thrown into their own ovens, passengers falling overboard, the drownings within the pool, inexplicable death of guests in the rooms, the accidental destruction of an allied ship taking 337 lives, in a list that is as long as the ship is itself. The Grey Ghost breathes another meaning. In 1967, a magnificent ship that sailed nearly one million miles was finally set to rest in the Long Beach Harbor in California. After 30 years filled with tragedy and death, it is no surprise that thousands upon thousands of guests have encountered the many ghosts within the walls. Our goal tonight is to take everything we've learned over the years, every paranormal investigation device we have, and join forces with experts that ensure we leave the Queen Mary with no stone or spirit unturned. Every possible form of paranormal activity has been documented here, and perhaps the ship being laid to rest, leaving its many spirits trapped within it, is the cause of the hauntings. And that is what we are here to find out. With over 30 hours of footage, this is a two-part series. And as soon as the video has 66.6 thousand likes, we will release part two. Hey boys. Ooh. Josh's first time on the yeah. No turning back, baby. Oh. I'm, I'm like... 
You guys ready? With ships. I'm ready. We welcome you. Uh, oh, is it pull? Oh, is it a pull? Push, it's push, it's push a backwards. Pull. Push backwards. No, wait, wait, no, no, wait, push no, no. backwards. Corey, push Corey. Backwards. I think if you if you back. push on Corbin while Corbin pulls, I think that'll. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, if because you, then the forces yeah, will. Yeah, 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 if you get on the other side of the door and push while I pull. Yeah. Uh, yeah or yeah, yeah, or if he pulls on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe we can get this. Okay, hold on. All right, and you ready? Pull. Yeah. Go. Okay. I don't understand. You're pushing, right? He's pulling. I'm trying my best. Do it again. Do it again. Corey, you pull. Corbin, push. Go. Go. Okay. Harder. Okay. I don't understand. Okay. Um. Does it need? Wait. Try the. Maybe we try the other door. Huh? I don't know. What the f wait. Come out here. Wait. Maybe it's like one of those secret, secret no. ones where it's like you gotta like. It's stop, secure. Wait, on, everyone, everyone put one. Oh, everyone put one, one hand finger on, on, hand on the. Hand on one square. Hand on yeah. one square. And and one hand square. on the square. Yeah. Hand per square. Okay, now Corbin, try opening it. Okay. Use your cheeks. Clench them. Clench them. Clench it. Clench you have it. to grab it. Really guys, grab it. it. Guys, like I can't. You have clench to grab it. You gotta clench it. Firmly grasp it. You got it, Corbin. You got it. 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 Yeah! We got it. We got it. We got it. Quick! Quick! Oh my God! Wow. Just gotta come up with a game plan. Let's go over all the different locations we can cover. We already know it can take us four hours just to walk the ship. Oh, yes. like we don't have a tour guide. No, we don't have anyone watching over us. It's literally just us and the ship. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Access to every room is open. Every room on the B floor, which is B three forty, B B four seven four, the M floor, M zero zero one. That's where the K two and the REM pod went off last time. The craziest thing that's ever happened. We have wow. the bow of the ship where it collided. We have the boiler room. We have the ballroom. We have the kitchen. What? We have everything we could ever want. We can get to it. Tonight. That is I really, insane. Dude. I really ship this. Oh, oh no. that's oh, two no. for two. That gave me an idea. We should do um, like blind date. Yeah. But you're yes. like looking for your like your your ghost hunting soulmate. <gasps> Hello everybody and welcome back to Blind Ghost Hunter Dating. I am your host and contestant Corey Shear. Behind this wall is four contestants that I cannot see and I have no idea what they look like. But today, I'm gonna find my ghost mate. Contestant number two. Oh, what is your name? Corbin. If you could take me ghost hunting anywhere, where would you take me and why? I'd take you to the Queen Mary so I don't have to spend any gas money. <sighs> okay, okay. I like that answer, I like that. Um, contestant number four, what is your name? My name's Josh. Whoa, Josh. You sound like a man. Okay, Josh, if you're such a man, if me and you were alone in the dark and all we had was one rim pod, what would you do with it? If I had one rem pod and we're alone in the dark, I think I'd extend the antenna and I might put it somewhere. Maybe if you're lucky it'll go off. Contestant number one, what is your name? My name's Matt. If we were alone, and I thought I saw a ghost, what ghost tool would you grab and why? I would grab the thermal binoculars because if you and I were in the room, there'd be a lot of heat being created. <laughs> okay, Matt. You could possibly even see our breath in the air. Okay, Matt. Um, contestant number three. What is your name? Elton. Elton? Mm-hmm. If we were on an abandoned ship and there was no one around us and it was haunted, what would we do for a week and why? Well, maybe first I would uh, get your spirit box ready. Yeah. For my flashlight. Mm. Yeah. Maybe watch you uh, ask to turn it on and... <laughs> Turn it off and okay. turn it back on again, and then maybe we would uh, get out some of my cat balls. Yeah, cat balls. Yeah, maybe uh, just set up them. set up two of them, you know, and you got them with you. Oh yeah, right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> contestant number one and contestant number four. I'm sorry, oh, but I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. Come on. Wow. 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 Okay. I hate this game. Wow. You weren't oh, even cute wow. Yep. You're lost. Okay, contestant number three, I choose you. God! 
And now I need to go to what's up guys, here's all of our ghost tools. I need to go straight. We have more paranormal devices and options than we have ever had before. Everything we've ever used in the last year is now here plus some new items and the goal is to use at least every single item here. The REM pod bear, spirit boxes, flashlights, K2s, thermal imaging goggles, REM pod, ovulus, voice recorders, cat balls, noise canceling headphones, motion sensing lights, REM pods, music boxes, this new device that you have to tip the scale. We have a Ouija board, our classic REM pod. We have the planchette that allows a spirit to channel energy to draw dowsing rods. We have a scrying crystal ball, the SLS ghost detector, and of course the portal. Plus Linda is coming and will have some of her own devices as well. Wow. What? I think so, this is the most amount of tools we've ever had. Everything is up for grabs. We have the entire night to make sure we cover as much ground as possible. Okay. You wanna, you wanna wait till too late? No. <laughs> no. It's too late. It's been an hour. The wait is over. What's, what's and now so it's too late. It's Why right it's now, late? it's too late. Our friends are here. They're waiting and they are ready to answer all of your questions because you're going to have a lot. So it's too late to turn back even if you wanted to. Are they dance instructors? That oh could my be. God, are we doing salsa? <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> That's the surprise. <laughs> wait. I mean, it sounded like a Zumba or Honestly, something. Honestly, if it's too Zumba. late, I like that. This as well. I've had numerous calls with them. I've talked to them about this. They know that there is a boundary between what you all believe and what I'm willing to try and do for a video. And they know for a fact, and it's been very clear, to create the separation. Their goal is to target everything towards me and keep you guys completely removed from the situation. Oh, so this is this is so, real for real. What are you? Doing? I've never seen you this serious. No, I, I, I genuinely had to make sure that like they were going to do everything they could to make sure that you guys were safe. Are we gonna be like in target. a separate room? Are we, yeah. Yeah. What? What are you gonna do? That's all. I just want. I'm just telling you that right now. This is actually. We have more places to go after this. We are about to meet Akelta and Alana, priestesses of the demonic divine. With a combined 30 years of experience dealing with possessions, exorcisms, demons, and dark lords alike, their understanding and ability to work with the darkness of the ship is unmatched. After months of research looking for the best and most credible experts in this space, I asked them to travel to the Queen Mary to join us for an evening with the plan to offer myself for voluntary possession. To entice all of the dark energy from the entire ship to join us in no place other than room B340. To enclose all of the demonic beings within the walls where I will follow their guidance to allow any entity to have free reign of my mind, body, or soul. Even after the possession ritual is complete, I have asked them to keep the evil trapped in the room, so we may join them later in the evening, and prior to saying farewell to the ship itself, capturing some of that darkness to take with us. Their work with the demonic divine is focused around the belief that every person is themselves, a balance of darkness and light. We are all good and evil, and have within us the ability to do great good, as well as the potential to commit acts of horrific evil. Darkness is forever a part of our nature, no matter how much we try to hide or pretend it does not exist. Dark primal urges or instincts exist within hidden regions of our soul, and continue to live on even after death. Learning to work with the darkness is essential, as working with the light. An earth covered in pure sunlight at all times would burn. It needs darkness for balance and life. This is the root of their work, and in which they have dedicated their lives to improving their abilities to work with that evil. The evil that surrounds us, and that is exactly why I have asked them to join tonight. Because if their work towards a voluntary possession is successful, then if needed, they also have the ability to perform an exorcism. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Elton, of course. Alana, Elton. Pleasure to meet you in person. Matt, protect me. Hi, I'm Corbin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Josh. The fact that you guys are so sweet makes it so much scarier. Oh 
almost had our hands behind our backs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone Every did. So, like we're arresting yeah. you. <laughs> I interact with and work with dark forces, I work with demons, I work with spiritual forces, both light and dark, I interact with entities all the time. We also teach people how to work with energies and open up their psychic abilities. That's pretty badass. <laughs> I have been working with demons for over 20 years. Wow. I started working with them when I was a child, actually. I was very open spiritually. I was six years old. I had a very traumatic experience where I was laying in bed and I started to see all these these beings, these shadow beings around and they were not nice. They were very nasty ones. I remember being terrified as a child. I was actually, I couldn't sleep for three days. I was completely insomniatic and they kept getting closer. I started shielding myself with my stuffed animals, surrounding myself with them and trying to push them back. And then I met with another type of dark entity, a demon who became my demon guardian, protected me and helped me to master my own psychic senses, my own spiritual abilities, and learn how to protect myself in the spiritual world. Wow. A demon guardian. Yeah, a demon guardian. When the negative forces come out, it scares all the positive ones away. So we created an altar in order to invite the spirits and the ghosts to come up and to wander around and to interact with us, bridging that connection between the physical world and the spiritual world. We're going to go off and interact with the more negative forces of the ship. So we're going to lure it to B340 and interact with it there. So when someone's possessed, it looks like they have two eyes. There's a double eye. So you see their eyes, but then you see another set of eyes kind of behind their eyes. We've been talking about this for a little while now. Mm -hmm. The goal here tonight is to essentially pull all of the negative energy that might be flowing and roaming mm -hmm. freely throughout the ship and draw it all towards B340. And then from there, they have the ability to close it in there. Well, I will be with them. And I'm gonna completely open up and welcome anything that wants to adjoin itself to me. But the side factor to that is by successfully pulling all of the negative energy to this room, right. it would relieve it from the rest of the ship. And maybe now they can roam more freely and joyfully and be seen and be heard and be spoken to and you can interact with all of them. Or, just a suggestion, we can just get some REM pods out, <laughs> some tap yeah. and do like we always do. You know Which, what I mean? you got, that's the point. Yeah. <sighs> what, what do you do after you get possessed? If? Before you guys arrived, we were raising the energies of this room and inviting them to all join us. For the good ghosts. This is something we feel like we should learn as a group before Dice. we depart. Yeah. Join in? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Tonight we call the dead. Tonight, Tonight we call the dead. We invite them to join us. We invite, we invite them, them to join us. We offer them these gifts. We offer, we offer them, them these gifts. gifts. We offer them food. We, we offer, offer them, them food. And welcome them to this space. And welcome, welcome them to this space. Thank you, Dead. Come Thank join us. Thank you, Dead. Come, Come join, join us. us. And receive the gifts we have for you. And receive, and receive the gifts we have for you. be drawn to the energies of this room and we are going to take the dark one with us. Are we all are you joining or are you staying here? Oh yeah, we're going to join but we're just going to be behind you so you can... I'll, I'll be the shield. Yeah, yeah okay. we're going to be spread out. And I'll be like, don't stay back, come this way. Come no. right past me. No, you're not. Like, you're like, no, wrong no, way, no, go stop. straight. I'll be like, oh, you come right here. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, you're going the wrong way, go straight. I'll be like, yeah, you're going, you're going away from me, she's going here. No, so you, no, go, you go like, Elton. Yeah, come hug yeah. me and then I no, go. No, 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 you're gonna be in front Stop. and then we're gonna use our shields. Yeah. Like she was saying. To sandwich it to you. Exactly. So you'll be right in the in the beginning. Alright my friends, this is where we say au revoir for the night. Alright, hey, we have the positive stuff. We have positive yeah. people. Oh yeah. All the just, stuff is uh, getting all the negative energy is coming in over here, so I'm just happy with that. Like, what do you say, like, right before your friend gets possessed? <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. All right, we'll be back by dinner tomorrow yeah. night.
Let's all pick our weapon of choice. Just one? When it's all set up, the only way to make it go off is by literally touching it. When it goes off, I get super amped. This one, because I've never used it before, and I really like the idea of light. Cat balls, mm. because I feel like I've had pretty good luck with them. Every time I've laid some out, like the castle and stuff we went to, we've had such good interactions. Yeah. I was gonna do this, good old Remy, but now I'm kind of wanting to do the music box. Before we go into V340, Evan and Kyle are with the rest of the guys. This is Jerry. He's gonna help film on this camera. I'm gonna wear uh, a mic because the audio on this camera is kind of bad and the GoPros are kind of bad. So thanks for volunteering. <laughs> Evan, uh, Evan told me to give this to you. Evan wears this whenever he films anything um, demonic with us. So that's all yours. It's from Patty. It's meant to keep you safe. All right. <laughs> and then I have a mic on in here that's just recording. Um, so that way we have good audio because they're kind of quiet. So, okay. It's definitely a lot colder down here. You know that room in your grandma's house? You're like, I'm not going in there. Yeah, this is all. This is that. This is all of your room. Oh, that's scary. This is all of your grandma's basements. Tell me this doesn't look Put exactly together. like somebody's nightmare on uh, Nightmare on Earth. Oh, absolutely. Oh, dude, it is Freddy Krueger's basement. This is with the boiler. Oh, this you're so right. right. Why did you have to say oh, that? Dude, look at how big this what is. That? What? What was that? You heard that? You heard that, right? Yeah, I did. What was like, it? Like, it was like a ting. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's the room. Oh. We got a bed for all of us. Check in while you sleep. It's a bed with rope and chains. You guys down to uh, set up our tools and maybe start the investigation in here? Yeah. I think that might be a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm gonna put this on the bed. Where are you gonna put yours? <laughs> Alright, then yeah, you can just chill in the corner. This circle will protect those outside of it from the work that we are about to do. This circle will contain the energies of the creature who resides within the darkness of the deep. We will receive its messages and seek to learn its mysteries. If there's any spirits, any entities, elementals, souls, people, whatever you are, if there's anyone or anything down here with us that would like to talk with us, we have a couple devices set out and you can either talk to me through this device I'm holding in my hand or you can touch one of the devices that we've laid out. So if anybody wants to talk, please make one of our devices go off now. Add molecules. Add molecules? Yeah. So demand and add molecules. Yeah. Hmm. What can we add? Oh, no way. The fuck was that? Did anybody hear a voice too? He's talking? Yeah. Sense. Huh? Sense. What? Is, is there flowers? Like scents, as in like smell, and then flowers. Oh, scents. They smell flowers. Uh, perfume. Mm. Possibly your cologne. Mm. Is there somebody here with us? Are you trying to tell us something? Awesome. Thank you. 
Yeah. We offer it blood. Blood calls it. It is drawn to the blood. Blood is life. Blood is also the bridge. The bridge between the spiritual world and the physical world. It is the bridge that will link our worlds and bring this creature to us. It will bring this creature to this space. Blood will open the way. Do you not like us being here? We have another device right here. So if you touch this, you can make this light come on. And that's another way of communicating with us. It's only done it one time before for us. So if you want to show us how strong you are, you can turn that light on. If the witches took all the, the negative energy into B340, those maybe were the stronger spirits on the ship and now finally the more happy, more weak spirits possibly are now free to roam. Yeah. Maybe they don't have the energy to put into the devices and maybe that's why they're using the obelisk or different things like that. Because Suit and Harry. I think you could be right, Evan. Is your name Harry? Is there a suit right there? This is part of a suit. Is that your suit on the chair? Oh, Ooh. Oh, that scared me. Wow, okay, that's a nice suit. That's pretty nice. Are you a pretty friendly person? a little bit hairy and I like your suit it's pretty sharp thank you Harry to the north we turn to honor our fallen mentor we call to the sacred realm of the dead lands where the departed sleep within their grave to Lord Beelzebub we call to you great demon warrior Lord of darkness and keeper of peace guard the northern gate we invite the dead lands and call you to this space. Ave Beelzebub. To the west we turn. We call to the sombre depths of the dark abyss, where the dead find no peace. To Lord Leviathan we call to you, great demon of the dead, lord of the black ocean, guard Western Gate. We invite the dark abyss and call you to this space. We left our friends in that smaller room. Felt it was a little crowded. So we ask you to meet us out here in the open space. We have a little box. It'll light up and make a noise. It won't hurt you. But we also have a little flashlight by the gate. We can communicate that way. So is there anyone here? Okay. Are you glad that people come visit you here? Are you happy that the girls that are here are trying to get rid of the negative energy? turn. We call to the charred lands of the burning underworld, where the earth is set ablaze. To Lord Lucifuge Rofokal, we call to you, Lord of the underworld, demon of the endless graves. Guard the southern gate. We invite the burning underworld and call you to this space. Adenferos Vokamos. Ave Lucifuge Rofokal. To the east we turn. We call to the fallen one of sacred light. He who is Lord of sacred breath. To Lord Lucifer we call to you. Lord of the inner light. Fallen angel. The morning star. 
guard the eastern gate. We invite the sacred light and call you to this space. Ave Lucifer. In the center. Obesam vocamus, nos in tenebris, hermas cam mortuus, inuger nobis scriptura obscura. Wow, I cannot see anything with this red light. No. We also have a light switch. So if you tap this metal piece right here, we'll be able to see the light that you're giving off. Is there anything you want to tell us? Or want us to tell somebody else for you? Are you trying to leave the ship? Is there anything we can help you with? Guess they need help. Okay. Okay, we can help you. What do you need help with? Do you need help crossing over to the other side? This is weird. Yeah, almost no responses from when it was like really reacting before. I know. Should we just ask a couple more questions and then maybe go find a new spot? I agree. I think we should go explore after a couple of yeah. days. Okay, well, we might leave. Cloister. Monaki. Wait. Apocalypse. Why is it saying that in a different language? What is Monaki? Can you tell us what Monaki is? It said wait. Cloister. Monaki apocalypse. What's interesting that is as we after we say hey, we're gonna leave. Yeah Do you want us to wait? Do you want us to stay here? For you to interact with dark energies, you need to open yourself up to it. Within these halls, within this room, people have been killed. They've been killed by this creature. They've been killed by this darkness. There's an energy that comes with that. An energy that laments on the walls is to allow that sensation, the sensation of death and the sensation of darkness to move into us. Those people who are most shielded, once that connection is made, they have the most powerful experiences. Because we've used blood in this ritual, we've actually created a bridge so it was a closer connection between the spiritual world and the physical world. Okay, well, I know you told us to wait, but we're going to go ahead and leave. Yeah, let's go explore. We're trying to talk to you. Ever. Huh? Lash and ever. Lash and ever? Like lashing out? It's weird how when we say we're going to leave, it, that's when this talks. Yeah, that talks immediately. Weird. That is weird. Very weird. Huh. We're gonna call it. Thank you for talking to us a little bit. Thank you. I mean, if there's negative spirits, like put it this way, like think you're in a negative area, right? And then all of a sudden they leave. Mm -hmm. What would you do? You gonna start talking? No. I'd be too scared. Yeah. Right? Oh, we sink their hooks in. I wait for the perfect moment. Something's trying to get in. It's precisely what it feels like. Mm hmm. And we've been sweating, we don't know why, and stuff. So. Yeah. Energies when they flash, especially with dark energies, it's a friction. So we'll deeper into the energies of darkness. It enjoys what it does, but it also enjoys its mysteries. This is an ancient creature. An ancient creature. It has lived in the darkness, lived in the depths of the sea for the longest time. It 
that enjoys death. So when the Queen Mary passed over it, it saw death and destruction. That took an opportunity. We asked if he needed our help with something, he said yes. We asked him everything we could think of that he needed help with. And yeah, no answer. No thing. What about you? Barely got anything. Yeah, yeah. It seems like this. I generally, a words, I really do believe that because of the whole Elton thing that's going on, there's no, the ghosts aren't here. I think they're like, that dude, it's so yeah. funny you're saying that. We were literally, Corey was I just said, saying that. I just, yeah. Should we keep walking that way? What do you think? I sure. bend down there. Yeah. We can, we can look. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. It's a mirror, the energies are open. Which is how much Down here? Or a wreck? It was it was hit in front. Oh it was. Do you remember that? I do. And it hit another ship. Did it kill people? It, it killed people. Yeah, it killed a lot of people. Oh you're right, it ran over that small boat. Possession when done right when you're in control can be a lot of fun. In what way? Voluntary possession. A voluntary possession is where you, you allow the energies in and you step back and let it take control. The ability to step back, though, is what we train to do. When you let the energies in, you have to release all control of your body and just allow it to take over. Mm -hmm. That was what it was saying. Once you step back, Your personality changes. Sometimes vocal cords change. Sometimes you gain an accent. Or your speech, your language patterns change. It varies. Keep the light on if you want to talk to us. Was there a wreck? Huh? This is action time. Dude, there's, yeah. there's nothing technical about it. It's purely weight right now. There's no wires, there's no... There's nothing that could make it malfunction. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Can you now come touch this box? That's right in front of us? It's like a little chest. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna bring this box to you. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're gonna see if you can touch both at the same time. If you touch this box, instead of the light, it'll light up just like that. Test it. Just like this. There you go. Now, as you're connecting to the energies, see yourself moving back. Getting smaller and smaller, and you're just stepping back. You're stepping back and allowing those energies to influence you. Allow them to take command of you. Allow them to direct you. You are moving further and further away, and it is getting stronger and 
and stronger. Are you still there? I am. Twin, I feel awake and asleep at the same time. Mm -hmm. Step out of your body. I can drive. Imagine the light burned out. Oh man. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, light it's a light. Yeah. Can you say goodbye to us at least? Oh. Wow. Is that it's not burned out? Is that a goodbye? Give me shirt. Which, which shirt? All right. What shirt do you want? Do you want this shirt? He asked for the shirt. I think it's Sam's stance. Okay. Wants the shirt. You want the shirt? All right, we're gonna give you the shirt. Yeah. 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 Want the shirt. Okay. All right. Give you the shirt. All right. Yeah, he's kind of a bully taking your Hang, shirt. Hanging on a rail right next to it. Yeah, I don't know how to put it on you. Yeah, put it on him. Put it on him. <laughs> Magic. Yes. Could you imagine? Okay, I'll put it right here. Right here for you. Dude. All right. I have thank you this. Promise. There you go. Can you say thank you for the shirt? Did you work? Washington. Did you work in Washington? Are you from Washington? Mm. Maybe. Oh, no way. So you're from, you're from Washington. There we go. Okay. That's how you do it. Good job. Oh, this is good. All right, okay. so you're from Washington. Did you work there? The light is like they're trying to tell us something. That flickering? Oh my yes. god. Yes. You yeah. are trying to tell us something. So you are telling us something. We gotta ask better questions. Better something. Okay, we can only communicate with you and eat. What does it say? What was that? Beast? Beast. Maybe you're a hair in the chest. Are you wait, are you trying to Is he a hairy beast? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yo, that's a <laughs> I don't know if I can. Is that like a compliment? No, you're gonna roast him. Okay. So you're funny. Yeah. yeah. You got humor. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Dude. Are you? Are okay. You, all right. Are you, oh yeah. Are you known for being a funny guy? Yeah. Really? All right. Okay. Interesting. So you like to roast people. Okay, 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 okay. Save this the energy. Laugh. Save the energy. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, this is crazy. What we're doing right now is the foundation for voluntary possession. It's where you can shift to an altered state, see the energies, allow them to enter you, and then step back. That is the formula for voluntary possession. And the fun thing about that is you can do it anytime you want. And you can turn it off anytime you want because you are in complete control. So if you want to allow something in, you let it in. And then if you want to push it out, you push it out. No longer sweating, but now I'm starting to feel nauseous. The nausea is another sign of it. <laughs> if you want, you can pull back the energies. I felt worse before. You want to keep going into it? That's what we're here for. All right, let's do it. With every breath you take, more dark energy moves into you. It moves into you. It floods your body. It floods your aura. There will be a conflict then between this dark energy and your own consciousness. In a possession that's forced, the darkness, the creature, needs to overpower you. Do you want to hear some jokes? Can we? Later. Later? You want to hear some jokes later? Okay, okay. Later. What, what do you want right now? What do you want? Why was six afraid of seven? 
because seven was a six offender. <laughs> Did you like that joke? Numbers. Numbers. Numbers! No way! Whoa! No way! <laughs> okay, now we're communicating. This is great. This Did you great. understand that joke? You got the joke? Take in more dark energy, breathe it in, and allow the energy to move through you. Continue to allow it to, in, to influence you. Continue to allow it to direct and guide you. Breathe more dark energy in. Feel its thoughts. See what it sees. Reach out and grab the darkness. Connect with it and pull it into you. Keep moving, allowing it to move your hands. I get the shirt back? Yeah. Right. Okay, we're gonna take the shirt and we're gonna leave. Can you, you have tell us goodbye? We're gonna leave unless you want more jokes. You'd have to tell us though. What'd you say? It's a half a person going this. Alright, well we're gonna leave now. So thank you for talking with us. Alright, thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for talking to us. I feel like I just woke up from a nap and I'm late for something. <laughs> Your hand is moving. You know, like that jolt of energy you get when mm -hmm. you're like, you wake up and you're like, oh. Fuck, what am I forgetting? Yep. That's what it feels like right now. Yeah, I'm not nauseous anymore. We went through an entire cycle of getting it into you. There was a battle between you and it. Energetically, I could feel pressure between your consciousness and it. It felt like this. So it was trying to get your consciousness to relax so that this could take over. Pushed it out so then it's like, all right, let's try a more voluntary approach. And your, your hand did move. We couldn't get your foot to move, but your hand did move. Okay, it just said waves and trapped. Waves, oh, dude, that it's goes trapped. With... Yeah. I mean, this I is like the this first movie. time I've ever seen this go off. And then it was yeah. like going off with the REM pod? Yeah. That's, that that was insane. Was Them going off yeah. at the same time. Well, we, we know the guys from Washington. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Should we go, maybe? Is Elton should we check on Elton? Yeah. yeah. Should we meet yeah, back at base camp? Is that where we're meeting? Make sure he's not possessed. This, or, I mean, he wants to be I just want to see his experience, too, if he's not I do possessed. Too. Dude, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to let him touch me. Facts. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to see it happen before. Right. No. Yeah, we're, it's probably better we don't see it. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go check on him, and if he is possessed, we can just run. Okay, yeah, good idea. Yeah, we can. All right. You have a very interesting energy. Like, as, we, as I was working with you, I was, I, was, I was quite happy when your hand moved. I was like, okay, good. This is, we're getting, it's getting in, and we're, we're making progress. But your will is very strong. Like, you have a very strong, very dominant will, and you don't fear any of this. I really feel like I was in Satan's sauna for a little while. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, my hoodie is soaking. If these were real candles, I could put them all out like a squeegee. <laughs> ah, there goes another. trying to like try to like kill us like, what oh, wait wait that's what if he case. tries to touch you what do you do I like, punch him in his face but if he gives you a high five or something no that's not good. hey buddy hey. Hey. hey i give you a what why do you uh, look different i give you a what your eyes look glossy wait, what, what can i give you i don't know what can i wait yo what? stare in his eyes 
Yo, why do you look different, dog? Yo, what's going on? Yo, yo, I'm not even playing. You don't look like Elton. Is anyone else thinking that's not Elton? I don't know, it's the beard. The beard is freaking me out. That doesn't look like you. Give me a high five, Corey. Uh oh. I said, dude, uh -oh. he's gonna ask for a high five. Well, you're gonna do it? <laughs> no, 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 Okay. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? There wasn't that like big like, holy shit. Well, what Five little minutes. stuff happened? One, I mean, I, I, it can make you touch me right now, but I'm drenched in sweat. Why are you all sweaty? What did those two ladies do to you in that room? Uh, there was actually a third. There was a third, but she didn't. You dog! <laughs> so there was a, a third one in there, and I guess um, she pra practitions, but no one publicly knows. You know when you're like you're starting to get a fever and your body just starts sweating because oh. you're mm -hmm. like fighting it off. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Like your immune system's trying to push something. Yeah, out. it felt like my body was just like fighting with everything it could. Like, dude, I'm like, I'm not. I was just drenched, drenched, and this is like instant. Like, I stood there and maybe a minute in, I was like, what is going on? And just sweating and sweating. All right, most important thing right now, everybody get up here. <laughs> everybody <laughs> stand up, look into his eyes right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, come here, come here, come here. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Ah. You, oh, oh, those are God. two eyes. Those yeah. are definitely two eyes right there. <laughs> yeah. that, only, a, only a demon would do yeah, that. Only yeah. a demon would do that. that. Yeah. No, but Fro, did you get possessed? What did they say? You know what kind of uh, possession I wish I had? Huh. It was like a, a stripper with like double demons. Oh! So did you get possessed? I don't think so. They were they basically like, we would have seen it, we didn't see it. They also said like sometimes it can take weeks, days. Um, they also, Wait, what? They also left weeks, the room, they days? left the room as is. Wait. So everything in there is still contained, so they said I'm welcome to just like go back in there on my own. So two of us stays in there. Next is full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till we all, all go in there together. Are you gonna, uh, <laughs> are you gonna release it tonight? Uh, 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 uh. You have to, to, right? Do you want me to? No. Like a fly. Yeah, you heard that? Uh oh, Elton's hearing things. Isn't that no, like I heard that too, though. Like After you shook his hand? Wait, but a fly? Yeah. yeah. A fly he goes, yeah. Yeah. Do you Wait, did no one else hear it? Just me and Corey? No, yeah, I didn't hear it. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, someone else touch his hand. Someone, yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> someone touch his hand. No. Dude, you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tuned it. I almost pulled my hammy, dude. <laughs> uh, I think Lynn and Zachariah will be here soon, so maybe don't say anything to them. See about if, the see, room? Don't say anything about what happened oh, to me. Yeah. See if they sense anything. Do you think they'll pick it up? I mean, Zach, Zachariah, I hope so. I'll keep my hands to myself. I heard he's a large. <laughs> dude! <laughs> that was Damn! The power! Please don't do it. 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 I'm serious. Oh, please, please, please don't. It's like us. Yeah, it's, it's like us all touching. Uh, uh -huh. And then Corbin. Grab. Wait, 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 wait,
I mean, yeah, I get it, but. Okay, but. Fine, fine, fine. That's it then. Just I can just do that. I can go. Just do that. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I just want to go. I just want to go home. That's it. I don't understand why you won't just. Mm, just let me go home. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Please, okay. Okay. I'll do it. That's it. That's fine. I just... Floor were they on? They were piano, and the piano is up one floor. Okay. Boy, I'm excited to see the pool. I've never seen it. So this is gonna be dog. crazy. No one has, dude. Yeah. Uh, All right. How long has it been closed? Oh, uh, like years. Decades. Yeah. Years. Well, that's the yeah. point. It's hello, hello. Oh, hi, hey, guys. Hey. Hello. I think we haven't seen each other since Cecil. I know. It's, it's been true. Been a while. Nice to see it's you. Good nice to see you. you. Hey, hey. Hey. How you been? Hey. How you been? Hey. 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 Wonderful. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good to see you.